Patrick, thank you. That was fun. This year, we combine uh, two business awards into one, the Malcolm Forbes and uh, Morton Frank Award for Best Business Reporting is sponsored by Steve Forbes. The citation goes to Cam Simpson, Gavin Finch, and Kit Shalell of Bloomberg for the Brexit short. The award goes to Walt Bogdanovich, Michael Forsyth, and the New York Times staff for the enablers. It is, uh, it's no secret that authoritarian regimes such as China, Russia, and Saudi Arabia are gaining influence around the globe. The surprise is who is helping them. American consulting firms, British public relations shops, and Western political operatives all looking to make a buck. In exchange for multi-million dollar paychecks, these fee seekers have helped Saudi Arabia jail dissidents at home and starve civilians in Yemen. They have strengthened China's military, helped a Russian oligarch evade U.S. sanctions, and assisted South Africa's leaders in gutting the tax agency investigating them for tax evasion. Thank you very much. I'm going to take you back to March 1st, way back in time. Andrew Ross Sorkin had a special guest on CNBC, Kevin Sneeder, the managing partner of McKinsey. Andrew asked Sneeder about the New York Times reporting on how McKinsey works with authoritarian and corrupt governments around the world. Sneeder was very contrite, very diplomatic, and promised that the firm would be more thoughtful in the future about the clients that it took on. Meanwhile, next to Sorkin was Joe Kernan. Now, Joe Kernan has been on CNBC since Pete Buttigieg was nine. <laughs> and he was not having any of it. But Kernan didn't have a problem with Sneeder. No, Kernan's problem was with the New York Times reporting. It's virtue signaling, he snarled. He called us socialists. I guess virtue signaling is supposed to be a bad thing. To hell with that. The world is awash in authoritarians. It's their day in the sun. Xi Jinping, Putin, Orban, Sisi, Mohammed bin Salman. They're a threat to what was until recently the slow spread of liberty around the world. And to journalists, of course, they are a mortal threat. Witness Jamal Khashoggi. I'm going to channel my inner Gordon Gecko here, given where we are in New York City, and say that dictators, for want of a better word, are bad. I can only speak for myself and my colleague Walt Bogdanich, who was the person who envisioned this project, the eye candy here tonight, and <laughs> has wanted to write about McKinsey for years. But I think it's that spirit that informed the entire New York Times series on the enablers. David Kirkpatrick wrote about the uber enabler, Jared Kushner and how he forged a very close bond with Mohammed bin Salman. Salam and Nori showed how KPMG helped a corrupt South African president gut that country's tax agency. Joe Kernan, when we write about the enablers, it isn't because we're socialists, not that there's anything wrong with that, but it's because free markets work best with freedom and rule of law. That's virtue signaling we should all embrace. Thank you. <laughs>